We might also delegate to provide a great experience. Clowns at birthday parties, for example, to give our kids a great birthday party. Or troop leaders to teach our kids the life skills and good moral behaviors. Anyone recognize that guy in the top right? <laughs> so how do these principles apply to your posh business? Well, we want to start by building a leadership team. Andrew talked about this this morning. There's a lot of hats you have to wear in your business. And you can do this very simply by delegating to those that are, are in your business that have the same passion as you. So what is a leadership team? A leadership team is a group of leaders within your team or company that you can team up with and delegate to to run your company as a unit to work in unison and develop unity. Oh, am I behind? This is jacking me up up here. All right, so how do we build out a leadership team? The first thing we want to do, how many times have you heard me say this? Everybody say it with me. Ladder them, them into, into accountability. accountability. People want you to tell them, they want to tell them why you want their input. Tell them why their input is important to you. They, just tell them. Tell them why you think that they're so special. Tell them why you think they would be good at running your team page. Tell them why you think that they would, you know, be an amazing asset in this avenue or that avenue of your business. All these many hats that we have to do or have to, you know, achieve every day. So who should we add to our leadership team? You would start with leaders in your downline. Again, Andrew said this morning, start with your premiers. If you don't have premiers in your downline, start looking at your P3s. Who are the leaders in your company? Who are invest, who, who's investing? Who's, who's, who's connected? Who's like engaged? Who's showing you interest and potential? When, when you begin, you can begin to build a leadership team at any point. A lot of you should already have this up and going. You should be delegating tasks to people in your downline to help you run your company. This builds unity. Those of you that were in my breakout session earlier, we talked a lot about unity and why that's so important. If I show up for you, you're gonna show up for me, right? Okay. Where? Any activities dealing with your company? These, these, uh, your leadership team can be an asset and help you and drive these behaviors. Start with one objective and grow the additional objectives as your vision grows. So don't get overwhelmed with, I have to do all of this. Start with one thing. Those of you that have been in Leadership Academy, what do I tell you in lesson three or week three? When we're planting our seeds of leadership, you have to start somewhere, right? Pick one thing and delegate it to someone else. Pick one thing that they're good at. They can help you to achieve greatness together. So here's some examples. These are things that I actually did in my previous business. These are things that worked for me and I hope that maybe they'll work for you too. But start with one, don't get overwhelmed. <laughs> so your team and company training calls. Who's a great leader? Who's a great trainer? Who has great you know, engagement and voice infliction and talks really well on the phone? A great speaker, right? Or maybe it's a delegation where you allow them to build the schedule for your team trainings, right? Maybe they're great on Excel. Maybe they're good with training topics. Maybe they're good at scrolling your Facebook page and finding out what your team needs. Delegate that to them. Team and company communication channels, like we talked about this morning. Let someone run your Facebook page. Let someone handle the email communications for your team or company. Let someone run your YouTube channel. My leadership team, we all had the same login, the same password. We have one YouTube channel, and we cranked out videos all the time to that YouTube channel so that we could share them collaboratively among our company. Okay? Delegate those tasks. Team and company meetings, come together in unison with your leadership team and, and have these team meetings. Let them see you stand shoulder to shoulder and run your company together. Your team company dinners, like we do dish at dinners and stuff like that. Um, call them something fun, like a little munch punch or 
for something. Go run it together. Do it together. <coughs> create that engagement. Create that vision. Create that unity. Team and company event planning. When you come to events like this for Premier Con or Dayways, get involved. Set up little pod meetings. I mean, you've seen me sit on several concrete floors, right? Sit in the corner and talk to your team. <coughs> your team. Like, bring your girls in. Plan little things where you're sitting in corners of the room and you know, having wine or whatever and talking about your business. Invite them to come, right? Plan those things together. <laughs> Event and trade show sharing. This was something else we did. Um, we had a, a, every event show or, or, or trade show that we did, um, we, I delegated them out. I had a bunch of shows booked. I couldn't go do them all, but it benefited my company to share that with my downline share that with my leadership team. So I had all these trade shows and I'd sit down around the kitchen table and I would say, okay, these are the ones that I can take. These are the ones that are local to me. And I would give, you know, six to this girl and six to this girl and six to this girl. And you know, they paid for it all that, but it all filtered up, right? Because everybody was working every single weekend, right? So we were driving that behavior. Everybody was working, everybody was happy. And we were, you know, cranking out really amazing numbers. Just by simply thinking outside of the box. Think about the whole thing. Uh, team and company incentives, or team and company incentive objectives. So we talk a lot about this in Leadership Academy as well. If you are running team incentives for your company or your team, speak to your other leaders in your company and ask them what they're doing so that they mesh. Because those downline members are gonna look at that incentive and they're going to put two and two together and say, wow, you know, when they, when they complement each other, right? If you're offering an incentive for this and, and their premier is offering an incentive for that and they collaboratively mesh to drive behaviors towards the pay plan or towards whatever we're trying to achieve that month, so obviously the pay plan is every single month, right? Then <coughs> that downline member is going to be like, wow, if I do this and that, I mean, it's... It's okay, right? They're gonna they're gonna almost feel sorry if they don't engage. So work collaboratively with your other premier leaders or your other um, in your people in your leadership team to to think about what you're gonna do so that they work together and they mesh together so that you can drive the right behaviors. Same thing with promotions. Um, again, we talk about this in the leadership academy as well. Talk with your leaders. Let those promotions or whatever you're doing for promotions um, mesh together. Communicate with your leadership team and drive those behaviors together. Everybody get on the same page, okay? Instead of trying to, you know, wear all of those hats, you can delegate those things out and work collaboratively as a unit. <coughs> Lastly is our uh, promotion systems, and that's kind of what, what I just spoke to is is what is the behavior we're driving? You know, if we're communicating and we're collaborating the behavior that we're trying to drive, we have a lot more opportunity to get a lot further down the road than if I'm doing one thing and she's doing another thing and so on and so forth. If we work together as a team, we can get a lot farther, quicker. Okay, so why should I build out a leadership team? First thing first, unity. If I show up for you, you're going to show up for me. This creates a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder unified front for your uh, company. They're going to look at you guys and go, wow, this is a really supportive place. I cannot tell you how many recruits we just raked in simply because we operated our business this way. They would join our company because we had such a strong leadership team and such strong support system and systems built in where we work together collaboratively to, to, to drive these behaviors. It also drives behaviors for, for your lower ranks. You're teaching your kids so you don't want to teach your grandkids, right? We spoke about that in the breakout session earlier. You're driving behaviors. Unity is the glue that holds your team and company together. It reduces the competitiveness among your team members. When we're all working towards a common goal why would I want to kick you in the shin if you get one up on me? I'm not. I'm going to be happy for you. I'm going to celebrate with you. When your team members share a common goal, they have one. They have the mindset of completing each task intentionally in contribution. We're all working for one goal. And 
commitments to, to, to get to the, you know, to the top of that mountain and, and celebrate together, rather than competing against each other, like I said. Unity towards common visions increases accountability. When we can all, <laughs> when, I, when, when we, we set goals together, and then I come to you and, and I don't meet my goals, Terry, you're gonna hold me accountable for that. And say, you know, life happens. You didn't hit your goal, but let's, let's build a plan to make sure that that doesn't happen again because I want it so badly for you. I want this to work so badly for you. And I'm willing to invest again for you. So every time I look at you, Dad, give you. <laughs> okay. All right. And in closing, you can work independently and climb to the top of that mountain. And it's cold. And it's lonely. Or you can work in unison. And when you get to the top of that mountain, you can celebrate together. Thank you.